who you got more confidence in to win a playoff game, the Bears or the Texans right now? I'm going with offense. So, well, Dan, the, the, I take the weakness of both teams when I'm trying to say, okay, this defense is great. Chicago, the defense in the, with the Texans is really, really good. Then I go, okay, well, what's next? And I think Watson's better than Trubisky at this point. I do believe I had in August, I said Trubisky would make Jared Goff-like leaps this year. I love the Bears. I think they're going to win the division. I think they're dangerous because they're set up for January. They can run it good enough. Their defense is nasty. And I think Trubisky and their weapons are getting better. But I, like, I think the AFC on the lower end is weaker. I think that uh, Deshaun Watson's so dynamic that even if things aren't going well, he can still pull it out. And I don't think, I think Trubisky's a year or two away from that kind of guy, although I love his strides. I would say the Texans because they're also confident, but I, I don't, I, I like Deshaun Watson. When it comes down to it, Dan, I'll always choose the quarterback if everything's equal. I like the Texans a little bit more to get at least one playoff victory if we're comparing the two. But they've won eight in a row. It's, it sounds strange to go, I'm still not sure. And, and I'm still yep. not sure with them, even though they won eight in a row. What's it going to take? And that's cool. Go ahead, I'm sorry. What's it going to take to convince me that the Texans are a legitimate Super Bowl caliber team? Domination in January in a game. And, Dan, I think what you're going through is the same thing we talk about on my show every day and what people here are. They're still kind of going at this with trepidation because of the eight straight wins, seven of them, six of them were kind of ugly. And we now, when you watch a Monday night game like the Rams and the Chiefs, You'll, we'll give the Chiefs far more love, even though they played better this year, for a loss, a pretty loss, than you will the Texans for an ugly win. And they've won a lot of ugly ways. Yeah, uh, they, they beat the Dolphins, you know, pr- pretty handily. And last night was probably their prettiest one of the eight. But I think is the of the eight of them, Dan. I think it's because they're they're kind of boring at times. Watson makes them less boring. They, you know, sometimes they'll punt on fourth down, although they went for it last night. They don't do anything. They, they don't extend themselves from, from other teams. They keep things close. Last night was probably their most impressive win with the way they did it. But I'm with you. I, I still go at it, and I think people here are like, yeah, fine, and Danny, fine, and Danny. What are they going to do in January? And I think that hangs over their head until they physically and, and you know, finesse-wise dominate a team in January. You're going to feel like that even if they won 12 in a row. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.